hi guys welcome back to my channel i hope that you guys are good i hope that you guys are amazing and healthy so when last did you guys see us sitting down together like this? it's been so it's actually been so long i think it was, the last time was like july so today basically as you see from the title of the video we are talking about basically whether our move was worth it mm -hmm. like worth worth it you know we always say like as a young person you should be taking risks and stuff like that so it's been a year yeah, it's been a year friend. it's officially been a year since yeah it's been a year yeah because you came in march i came around april. in april yeah. so there's so much to reflect on so much to be i think it's fair enough that like we've gathered enough experiences and like lessons to come up with a bit of con a conclusion i know that things can change i can come back and be like guys i absolutely hate it here i'm living in a farm in bots now <laughs> you know what i mean like next year and like that's still valid you know yeah. it's okay to change your mind yeah okay but before we start the video i'm with my bestie to Baba. say who you are. Baba. Hi guys. <laughs> my name is Belipi Moso, one of Tabile's, I was about to say only friends, but the two of us didn't I love you all so much. But Tabile's <laughs> left rib, <laughs> left part of her heart. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, but before we start the video, I just wanted to acknowledge one thing and remind you guys, if you haven't watched my previous video, I just wanted to make you guys aware of a competition to win a trip to Mauritius. And I want it so badly. I want it so bad for myself. I want it so badly. As much as I want it for me, I want it more for you. For you guys. Yeah. So this is exactly why we are doing the favor to be telling you guys about it so much. I've never like begged people to participate <laughs> so in a competition much. as much. I'm literally <laughs> like, guys, just go and swipe, 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 swipe. You travel to whether it's South Africa, Zimbabwe, no. internet, anywhere outside of the country, and you use your visa card. If your card has that visa thing, good class. Mm. All you have to do is use that card to swipe, tap and you. that's it. Gotta tap, you gotta swipe. That's hey, literally hey. all you have to do. And even outside of that, I'm more than willing to araba any yeah. sort of questions that you guys might have yeah. pertaining is it pertaining <laughs> <laughs> pertaining <laughs> so pertaining um the activations because they have if you guys can just tune onto my instagram stories they have been having activations go bolo game city um the real pop mall the airport and stuff like that yeah. and if you still want to find them and stuff just let me know and then i can i'm even willing to ask and then i'll let you guys know yeah so i want to travel a lot that's what you guys have money we travel a lot yeah mm -hmm. and it's been it's always been so easy for someone like me like literally when i moved here yeah i didn't even like open a bank account like the side as like it has been then, so easy to just because just because i have that visa card yeah. so it's that simple guys that's yeah. all you have to do yeah <laughs> your the video. point because mm -hmm. we were meant to start talking about our experiences yes since we moved here so on that point yes um obviously Kabila and i worked in botswana before Yo. we moved here yeah um could I serious jobs big background story Yo. both of us had jobs tabby quit first i quit uh, <laughs> <laughs> how <laughs> crazy are we <laughs> i quit i remember <laughs> typing my resignation let's say <laughs> i gotta go hey sir. guys oh Love sorry you so much so so sorry about our country friend yes. but that wasn't where we were supposed yes. to be yes. like in this season of our lives absolutely i love my country love it They're same mm -hmm. miss it sometimes yeah. Yeah. but we felt like there were so many more opportunities that we could find this yeah side. And so we, we said well, so yeah um since we were working that side uh we obviously had bank accounts open mm -hmm. and luckily our cards had the visa feature on yes. it so that basically means like if even if you're not in Botswana, you can use your card anywhere in yes. the world which is like the most convenient and it's so convenient it's absolutely of so life mm -hmm. so i think that is one of the things that really like enhanced our experience like moving the side yeah we didn't have to ca like carry cash mm -hmm. we didn't have to walk around with it was even stuff. better to just be swiping you know what i mean so if i'm gonna go on like different excursions to see the city yeah yeah tap like a swipe button and, it's, and that's it that's it that's it so yeah that was a little background of 
white and blue <laughs> and how swift and smooth it's been yes in like the transacting area and then mm. what else what so, other so what would you say were your expectations initially i think for me i moved to south africa because i wanted to enhance my digital content creation career yes. that side yes. is the that's my main focus mm -hmm. when i was moving obviously yeah. but of course i had to look for a job because i'm like baba you know what mm -hmm. and i only started looking for a job honestly if i'm being honest with you guys i seriously started looking for a job after like we blew our money <laughs> the first two months a month we actually we went blew out so every many day. times it wasn't even every weekend it was but it was day. worth it and mm. it was Good. Yeah, so I was expecting to just come here and immediately be spotted by brands, immediately yes. be established, immediately. That's the That's that's the first mistake I, yeah. I also I would say I also made. Yeah. I just had this idea that like when I get here everything is just gonna align. You know, align. Yeah. And boy was I humbled. Chummy. My friend and I hey. walked I don't know how how many magunias we've eaten. <laughs> and just talk. But then I feel like that's like it was such a, an important experience because yeah. if we weren't sitting during load shedding and bonding all those times, yes. literally just sitting and just not having money. And not <laughs> <laughs> because people aren't going to tell you yes. that. Part. Like, yeah. A lot of people on the internet will move and be like, it was such a great experience. Yeah. Yes, right. I struggled a bit. Right. I, I, no, baby. No, guys, you actually will, like, there is gonna, it's going to be down. hard. We joke. were really down bad. Like, it yeah. was so bad because we just had this exit that like you know definitely when you get that side everything is good everything will just align yeah but there had to be moments where things were just silent and just still yo we were approaching brands getting no replies you know what i mean i don't know how many emails the email read the template they just keep we just kept on trying and trying and trying so i think that's the that's actually what and I would say for me is that I told myself that like as I quit Diana, I'm basically just done with like corporate. the education corporate and stuff. But I actually I can't wait to go back. Yeah. I actually can't wait because this gives process your day has a structure. Yeah, it does. Like I think um I've I've had a lot of time to like fully experience doing it alone, like content creation alone. And I absolutely love it. And absolutely not wait to go back to school. Life Style. back together. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think another thing that And wait, so there's a time for everything, guys. Yeah. There's a time for everything. Yeah. Time for things to be building up. There's a time for things to be falling down. You, All you need to do they will is let they will sun. crumble as they come. Yeah. You know, and you can absolutely not avoid it. Even if you try to avoid it by doing all these type of things, it's gonna come at a time it was yeah. not meant to be happening. Yeah. So And I realized like like one thing that it taught me is that it's so yo guys, what we see on social media is not real hip. One thing about like <laughs> One thing about us, we went out a lot, uh -huh. but it didn't mean we were happy. Like, if you see Yo. us going out a lot, just know that we're really it's sad bad. Yeah. or we're trying to distract ourselves from something. So mm. when we everything just started slowing down, we were already we were, used to, like, We chaos. had, like, a whole deficit of, yeah. like, mental, like, things that we were just avoiding yeah. the entire year. Yeah. Literally, everything was still and silent, and we started praying again and just Yo. trusting in God and everything. Yeah. It literally felt like, am I, am, am I, I am irrelevant I, now? Yeah. Like, am I? I not? felt so like not to be dramatic, <laughs> but I felt so like empty. <laughs> For age group, we're so used to chaos, and by chaos yes. I mean 
I have to be calling Tabile. Tabile, this boy didn't reply me. Yo. Or Tabile, this girl is yeah. talking about me. Mm -hmm. Tabile, this person is doing this. Yeah. That's so we look such like I would life. even I would even crave like drama. Like I'll just be like, guys, why is there like no one stressing me out? Why Friends, is remember there no one there was a time you weren't me? talking to none of us? <laughs> <laughs> The time you we would just speak and you'd be like, yeah, I have nothing to say. <laughs> I have <a> January <laughs> this year because I genuinely didn't. Because and it's fine. And it's, I literally was like, bro, it's absolutely. I fine. have no like. I think There's it was. No words. Yeah, I literally was like, guys, I'm in this new position in my life. I yeah. don't know what to say, how I feel. But I don't nothing. know. But more like someone would ask me like, how are you? And I'm just like, bro. I'm the so same as I was yesterday, and well, yesterday I didn't ago. know. <laughs> so I was like, so like, I can't. Yeah. And it wasn't even like it wasn't even in like intentional. Yeah, when I was just, I wasn't upset. I was literally just chilling. And, and you know, it's, it's such a weird feeling for us because we're always used to calling each other like yo, show me you'll never believe yeah, what things like need. what what happened. What so that is one of the things that like I feel like also just uprooting yourself from a culture and a. Something that you're used to, something that you grew up in. Yeah. You just see how chaotic your life used to be. Yeah. And sometimes you just need to bring yourself back to yourself and just mm -hmm. pause everything and just want peace. Truly. Like I want, I want smoothness. I, want, I know that life doesn't like isn't perfect. People aren't perfect, but like I'm intentionally yeah. just looking for places that bring me peace. Peace, friend. And I'm saying it intentionally because before I think I'll just say it, but like I'd find myself enjoying yeah. toxic yeah, situations yeah, yeah, yeah. or like going to bad environments. Yeah. You know what I mean? But like now I intentionally want peace, bro. I just want like. The question comes, friend, was it worth it? <laughs> <laughs> was it so worth it? So the question comes. <laughs> so the question comes. It was. It really was. And I feel like it happened at the right age. Yeah. That's Yo, I can't so... Doing this at 40. Leave your comfort zone when yeah, you can. When you can. When you're young. Mm -hmm. Because when you were 40, you have Yo, to be looking after your kids. Because the fact kids, that one day kids. I'm just going to be a mom is just like A grandma, friend. And for a grandma. For me. For me. But I'm just going to say more. Really yeah. worth it for me shame i think it happened at the right age the right time yeah it happened the the right way the way it was supposed to yeah but yeah it was really I, worth it for yeah. me same i think it's very really like at one point i was like god i want to go home home yeah I'm i've had good. so many of those i'm tired i don't know what i'm doing i don't know if did I'm you coming. actually like consider Friend, going back the time i was having the trouble with the transport yeah. Really? I was like, it's okay. I've seen. Are you serious? I've loved. <laughs> okay. I was absolutely fine with it. Yeah, you and were. And that's another thing. Like, I think this experience showed me that, like, it's in okay. as much as I can say that I'm willing to take risk, I can, like, I showed you myself that I actually mm -hmm. can. Yeah, that's I so smart. I showed myself that's that, so like, smart. I actually can take risks. So my state of mind this year, April, and last year, April, are so different. Yeah. Where the A1 starts and where the A1 ends, that's how far that's... apart my mindsets are. Like, it's Yo. crazy. So, like me. so, I think it was definitely worth it, and I would encourage a lot of people to take leaps and risks, mm -hmm. because... It does so much for your mental, your emotional, and just overall, you don't know how your career is going to progress. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes it may be stagnant, sometimes it may, you know, progress. Mm. And when it's stagnant, it doesn't mean that it's not going to progress. Yes. So. And I need you guys to also just be okay with, like, things not going, like, okay, the way you yeah. anticipated. It doesn't, it doesn't mean, Hori, because we're telling you guys to take the leap of faith. You have to do that, it now. Like, you have to do it now. No. Or if you do try and things don't go your way, you can't try again in, like, five years. Yeah. We're not even saying that even if you are 40, that you can't take another a leap of faith. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because I've honestly never been 40 before. <laughs> <laughs> so how would I know? Oh, my know? God, that's such a wild statement to say. Until I'm maybe because I genuinely haven't. I don't so know how to strong. deal with like things for the first time. I'm actually like I have a problem. Yeah. But yeah, guys, that's that's it from me. That's it from us. 
just wanted to come here and give you guys a quick story time yeah of and just like explain how we've been since we moved here mm -hmm. and of course just put you on to the amazing competition that the good people at visa are running currently mm -hmm. so like we said at the beginning make sure that you type <laughs> Yo, tap, tap swipe and transact smoothly with your visa cards when you're traveling and you stand a chance to win a trip to, to mauritius guys um i'll see you guys next time and i love you guys so much mm. peace mm.